interesting stuff. This is dope. Because what you can do is literally, I think I know what this is. Wait, 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 wait. I'm wondering, it must be it, dude. I'm wondering if we literally have the creation of the object itself being delayed until the moment we actually call object value. It must be it. It must be it. Let's just fart dump something here. So what I will do, what I will do is the following. I'm going to just do, I'm going to just do starting here. Okay. And then I'm going to fetch the value from the object. And what do expect to happen is starting here and then lazy initiation and then actually see the value. It must be it. Oh my God. This is actually dope. This is actually dope. Let me try something. Can I do something like this? Interesting. This is work. Oh, ah, interesting. So this is the object, my class, but it's not initiate like it's not initiated already. You are just literally passing the object on the function. So if I just do something like within foo. Oh my god, this is actually cool stuff. Before foo. So if I do before foo and within foo, I should see lazy initiation only after within foo. Interesting stuff. This is dope. Because what you can do is literally creating a lazy proxy of an object. You navigate the object around like a container potentially navigating the object within your application but the object will only be initiated actually initiated once you fetch something from it okay so iconic is asking why would we delay the instantiation of an object so so i may have an answer for you imagine that creating an object it's not as simple as new upping the class. You actually need to do more stuff, like, you know, potentially uh, fetch, uh, you know, stuff elsewhere or fetch whatever or fetch something that actually takes time, you know, and do this up front without knowing if the object will ever be used. It may actually be problematic, but at the same time, at the same time, you don't want to do, to do this, like lose performance, but at the same time, you want to have the same type safety all over the place. So I think, I don't think I'm sure, what this lazy object RFC does is, you still have the possibility of using typing type pins everywhere. So you have this object and you can still pass through that object through every argument who's have the type int of the original class. However, the creation of the class will be delayed up to the moment where you actually call the value on the object. This is very interesting. Is exactly as AG Zach is saying, proxy pattern. However, it's kind of done for us. We don't have to deal with it. So it's a very interesting feature. And I do understand why it's so complicated for people to get it from articles or from the RFC itself, because it's indeed advanced. I would call this advanced. I, I, I would have to have serious reasons to use this feature, but I can't see this feature being used on Laravel, for example. On Laravel, we do a lot of stuff. We prepare a lot of things before a request without ever knowing if those objects will be used in the future. And with this feature, you can literally delay 
the creation of the object until the last moment where people are actually using the feature itself, which is very interesting. interesting.